Today we're gonna get like a little baby crash course on the Arduino, which is easily the simplest, easiest way to add computing power to whatever project you're working on. Um, so you'll see us use Arduino over and over in this channel, and that's because it's really easy to use, they're really cheap and accessible, and they're just so much fun. Mega 328, um, which is this chip you'll see here. The one, if you have an off-brand Arduino or are working with a different type of Arduino, you might have a different chip, but that's the general Uno Atmel love right there. I honestly don't use Raspberry Pis because I love sensing with analog values because you can do so much more, like you can take streams of data and there are gonna be more than just ones and zeros, and that's what I think is valuable. So for example, if you have a robot, it's pretty useless if it doesn't have a brain. And the Arduino is kind of the simplest brain you can put inside of a robot or any other you know, like mechanical device that you want to add programming to. Later on, we'll build an Arduino-controlled dress, and I'm not gonna say any more than that because I'm very stoked. Another thing that makes Arduinos really nice and useful is that they're solderless, basically solderless breadboard pins so you can plug in and constantly change what you're doing instead of having to solder things down. All right, time for voiceover Zyla to take over. And just a heads up, these are Andrew's hands. I was taking a final while he was filming this, so yeah, that's why my hands look a little pudgier than usual. Um, so this is the unboxing. Note that we're not using an, a genuine Arduino. This is a Micro Center one. Um, and that's kind of to show that any Arduino is fine and will get your, your project done. So that's what it looks like. Um, those there are your digital pins, and those are your analog, and then those are your power. So that'll have like your power in. That's your USB input on the Arduino and your barrel uh, power jack. And that right there is the brain of the Arduino, um, the Atmel chip, and that controls kind of all the functions that you're using. That's your reset button. Um, very useful if you want to start your code all over again. All right, so really simple. We're gonna plug one end of our USB into a USB on your computer, and then the other end into the Arduino, and this is a USB-B. Hey, and look at that, it lights up. If your Arduino doesn't light up when you plug it into a power source, you probably have a problem. Um, and you can reset it using that button. You'll notice that the boot up flash sequence starts over again. And <laughs> Andrew uses Bing, so uh, please keep your comments to a minimum because he swears by it. <laughs> and all right, so you're going to want to go to arduino.cc, and that's where you can get the Arduino ID, which is your free software that lets you program the Arduino like really, really simply. So pick whichever one is right for you. Obviously, if you have a Mac, then download the Mac one. If you have a Windows computer, download the Windows one. Um, feel free to make a donation. Arduino is a great organization, um, but you know most of us are broke, so just download. <laughs> and we're gonna watch it download. We run. So feel free to read that, but let's be real. Who actually does? You click I agree, and move on to the installer. Be sure to click the install USB driver, um, or else your Arduino won't work with the USB. And that would kind of suck. So make sure all those are checked, click next, put it where you want to, and click install. And it's installing. Isn't this riveting? And definitely install that. Um, make sure you, again, install that USB driver. And Andrew's also downloading Adobe Creative Cloud at the same time, multitasking. Okay, so open up the Arduino IDE, um, and there's a couple things to note here. This is what it looks like. It's kind of what it's always looked at like. Okay, so void setup is the part of your code that runs once, right upon boot up. So if you hit the reset button in your, on your Arduino, void setup is what um, you're restarting. And then void loop is what loops over and over again until it's being told to stop. So we're going to go into examples for today, and um, kind of the the hello world of the Arduino world is Blink. So open up that Blink program, and full screen it if you such desire. <laughs> and again, so there's that void setup, um, and void loop is what plays over and over again as the main part of your program. 
All right, so make sure you're using the right board. So in this case, Arduino Uno. And then you're going to want to um, check that you're using the right port. Um, if you don't have those correct, then uh, you'll get an AVR dude error message. And that's how you can find your board info if you need it. And if, if you don't know, generally it's printed on the board itself. All right, so you can also choose your programmer. We're using that one. And time to compile the code. You can also use the check mark in the top left corner, see at the top of the ID to compile. And surprise, surprise, it worked, uh, largely because it was put out by Arduino. <laughs> uh, just kidding, your code will work sometimes. And now let's upload it to the board. And again, you can do that with the arrow. So there's your upload sequence in LEDs. And now you can see you've got that Arduino just, I mean, that LED blinking on and off. So here we're going to go in and change the, the blink pattern. So we've multiplied the on by three and the off by one half. So now it'll be on for three seconds and off for half a second. And there's your sequence and there it goes. On for three, off for half, on for three. Off for half. And you can think of this, you know, that's just controlling um, that particular LED on the Arduino is tied to pin 13. So anytime pin 13 is high, that LED is on, which means you can test LED patterns without having to add any LEDs to the board or add any circuitry to the board. But it's also like really useful if you're doing a more complicated project and you need to know if pin 13 or if a certain pin is on or off or if it's receiving its signal. And there we go. So we've gone and made it very fast. Be sure to save your work as always. It's always a bad day if um, your computer crashes or if something happens and you lose all your code. And just so you know, when you save an Arduino file, it'll save as an INO file. Um, Arduinos are very, very widely available online. Um, we'll link a couple below. But you don't have to get an Arduino Genuino, Genuino, Genuine, a Genuine Arduino. There are plenty of like Chinese knockoffs and really cheap versions available. Uh, the one we're using today is a like in the middle version, so it's not a Genuine Arduino, but it's the Micro Center version <laughs> because there's a Micro Center right by campus. And just a, kind of a heads up, I've definitely had issues with the the really cheap like five dollar eBay ones where the some, sometimes an analog pin or two won't work. Remember, if you're working with one of those, that's totally fine. Like, nothing bad's going to happen, but it might not be your code that's ruining the project.